next guest left the corporate world several years ago to embark on a noble mission to do her part in helping alleviate the widening gap between the country's have and have-nots. Let's hear it straight from this eco-warrior and social entrepreneur of this hip home brand. about the advocacy of Messy Bessie in general? Messy Bessie was established for the main reason of providing jobs and education for these disadvantaged young adults. So that's really why we put it up seven years ago. Unwilling to simply count on donations from other people, she looked into social entrepreneurship and founded her own self-sustaining program called HOUSE, or Helping Others Through Sustainable Enterprises. The objective of House was to put up businesses that would employ, train, and educate at-risk young adults who are eager to live better lives. When people think of setting up a uh, social enterprise, parang ang hirap, parang ang daming challenges. But how did you guys go about it? Yeah, mahirap talaga. <laughs> but I think it gets offset. Um, why one? Because. For one thing, we somehow get all these blessings all the time, and I think it's because of the, the purity of our intentions, I think. And then another one, people also in the office, whether you're a beneficiary or not of the program, they're just generally happier. Mm -hmm. So we have a happy office and the business is run better when that's the case. So this is all local, the design of uh, the packaging, the formula of each product. Itself. Yeah, I, I kind of made the first few um, products, even the labels myself. Okay, why is it important to start considering switching to organic home products rather than the usual conventional chemical base? Yeah, well, personally, it's kind of like a commonsensical thing to do, especially if you have babies. When you use all these chemical-laden products, it ends up not just in the air, but also on your floors, in your skin, and you know, when you do some research, they really have adverse effects. Messy Bessie's signature design, that of a face of a smiling, chubby-cheeked woman, is actually lifted from one of Cree's paintings. While the pre-war, mid-century look of the packaging alludes to the times when there were less chemicals around us. One of Messy Bessie's staff and scholar, Rosebel Bolilan, visited the Modern Living TV office to show us their products and demonstrate their proper usage. Hi, I'm Rosebel from Messy Bessie. So, ipapakalala ko yung Messy Bessie product, which is made of natural ingredients. Simula natin sa dish cleaner. Meron siyang scent na kayo with lemon. Kung paano siya gamitin, katulad lang po ng iba, ina-apply lang po sa sponge. Yung panghugas po siya ng plato, then bubble na one lang po. Pinti on surface cleaner, spray lang sa rag, then punas lang. Pwede din siya sa tiles. Spray lang, then imamap na lang. Disinfectant aroma spray na pwede natin gamitin. After natin maglinis, spray lang po sa air. Anti-back na siya, then anti-pungal. Eucalyptus all-purpose, direct po natin, then ilalagay sa rag. Then after po nun, punas na siya. Then meron din po na pwede siyang i-dilute sa water para mas makatipid po tayo. Then spray lang, then ayun, imamap na lang po kasi pwede po siya sa tiles. Woody Wood Cleaner, punas lang po din din siya kailangan balnawan. Anti-roach spray na pwede natin spray sa mga ilalim ng cabinet na usually dinadaanan ng cockroach para di na siya pupunta doon. Odor absorber na nagtatagal po ang isang bag nito ng 3 months. Then, dinalagay lang natin siya sa tabi ng mga basurahan. Then pwede din siya sa loob ng closet para po absorb yung amoy. Right now, around 70 to 80 percent of the whole company is made up of these working students. We put the kids to work and through school, so they actually help themselves. They pay for their own tuition fee. Of course, with our guidance and our mentorship and our tutoring and whatever else. But the goal is really for them to help themselves through college, and then at the end of the program, they're able to choose a job of their choice and to get a job of their choice. Uh, the next five years, do you plan to make other lines? Yeah, we are hoping to come up with our personal care line very soon mm -hmm. this year. Um, we're also putting up stores now, so we have a new store in, well, we say store, but it's a kiosk, yeah. <laughs> in Alabang and in um, Katipunan. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to be more available because that's also one of our challenges. Yeah. 
make a more positive impact by becoming more eco-conscious and socially aware. It's not only really good for us and our families, a big plus is it also helps drive environmental and economic sustainability for the greater good. I love this mustard yellow. <laughs> it's so it's so eye-catching.